everybody, it's Ashley. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. How y'all doing today? Well, I have something very, very interesting for you today. You guys have been asking for it, so I got it. It is the Becca No Pigment Foundation and the No Color Highlighting Gloss. So I feel like it's going to suck. But I don't want to say that because I don't want to eh, manifest anything bad, but, you know. I've heard really bad things about it, and I kind of felt it already, and... Alright, well, let's just get straight into it, guys. Um, I just want to tell you thank you, I love you guys, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button while you're over here. And, you know, you might as well hit the like button, too, you know? I mean... All right, let's get into the video, y'all. All right, y'all, let's get in there. She is. I want to use this so bad. I've been, like, waiting to film it, and I'm like, oh, I need to use it. So I already feel like it's totally going to be a failure. Like, I don't want to start off with that because then I'm, like, I'm going to, like, manifest it into sucking. You know what I mean? Like, and I feel like I don't know if I should use my concealer first because I know that it's going to be like a total natural look, but like I need to do like my under eyes at least if I'm not going to do anything else. You feel me? Like, I don't know if I should do it first or what. Does it really say? I wonder if it says like, is there instructions? Okay, it says, no pigment virtual foundation uses a clear light blur technology that diffuses light around the face to smooth and blur imperfections without pigment. Formulated with hyaluronic acid to instantly hydrate, it cools on contact and helps perfect skin with a natural matte finish. Application. Use spatula to apply product to fingertips. Gently smooth and tap onto face. I'm going to put my concealer on first. And then we'll tap that bad boy on top. Okay. <laughs> so I'm using my Boing um, Industrial Strength Concealer. So I feel like I'm just going to do like a really natural look. So I'm just going to... I'm going to use like some cream products and throw a little bit of concealer on and do a natural look, you know? Um, when I'm doing a natural, like just throwing a little bit of stuff on, I really just like to do my brows, throw some concealer on and then throw like what I do is I don't. I don't bronze and use a blush. What I do is I get a blush that is like in between like a brownie color or like a peachy color and then that way I can like use it as a blush and it like bronzes a little like you know what I mean. So I'll just get that ugly little red skin right there. I um I have like a few little blemishes right there and stuff and I picked at them <laughs> not me and <laughs> so it's like I should use my brush what am I doing ever since I got this the other day I, I don't know if I even showed you guys it's the it um double-ended heavenly Lux number seven brush this shit is so fucking good I'm obsessed with it it's got the concealer on one end the concealer brush on one end and then the um, you know, the other one, the foundation brush on the other side, and I'm obsessed. I fucking love it. This is, um, and I, it's funny too, because I just saw, um, a TikTok, you know, Michaela from TikTok, I'm fucking obsessed with her, but she was like, um, talking about this brush on her TikTok today, and she was like, it's the best brush, like, I'll fight you, like, for real, like, <laughs> I know it is, bitch, like, I'm obsessed with it. I, like, didn't think that I could like a brush so much because I have so many brushes and, like, I don't like any of them as much as I do this one, like, 
it's so different and I have so many different types too you know what I mean like I just love it and I have other brushes from it too like in my collection you know what I mean like I have the it for Ulta brushes and I just love this one like so much more it's crazy all right let me kind of blend this out a little bit like you can't really tell that I have concealer on but I'm just gonna try to blend it in a little bit see my cheeks are a little bit red I have like just a little bit of red going on I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use this this is the creme shop clean canvas in pink and I love it. this stuff is a like a cushion it comes with this little um thing and then it's it's what it is is it supposed to help cover up redness and stuff so I'm just gonna put a little bit on my cheeks so it'll cover up that little bit of redness it's like a primer slash like lightweight concealer like um primer slash light concealer slash color corrector I guess this is kind of like defeating the purpose of having like a no, <laughs> no, um, I don't like that, um, of having like a no, a no look look, but whatever. I don't like that little applicator thing. I just wanted to cover up a little bit of like the redness you know okay let me blend this in see it's not like you don't get like coverage coverage it's just like a little something to even you out all right now let's go in for the business why we all came here huh Let's see this shiznit. Let's see what this shiznit does. I keep turning this stupid thing off. Okay. Yeah, I want you guys to, like, get a good picture of my skin, like, before and after. There we go. Okay. I just want you to, I want to get, like, a close-up, you know? So, it comes with this little spatula... And you're supposed to take a pea size amount. So I'm just gonna get a little bit. Like a pea size amount? Like, how the fuck is that supposed to cover your whole face? I don't get it. I don't understand when they tell me that on retinol, too. I'm like, a pea size amount? So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rub this out on my fingers. And I'm just going to do one side. Oh, no. Well, you shouldn't have done that color corrector first. Look, it's taking it right off. Damn. Yeah, it's taking it straight off. That's fucked. Alright, well now I'm gonna have to take all this off and go back in and just put that shit on. Okay, well now my face is all red because I used a makeup wipe and, like, I don't ever use makeup wipes anymore. I always use, like, my cleansing oil and stuff. Like, look, even my neck is red. That's crazy. Like, it made my face. <laughs> okay. So, I'm, like, scared to even put my moisturizer on now. Like, I'll just go in with this stuff because I feel like if I put my moisturizer on, like, it's going to mess it up, too, you, you know? So, let me get some more. I tried to, like, salvage what was left that I didn't rub on the other side. So, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to try to just rub it on one side so you guys can see because... 
you see how shiny my skin is, right? Like it's not oily or anything like that. My skin's just shiny. So I'm going to take this and just do, oh, it says to tap it. I always hate when it says to do that, like, especially with like primer and shit too, because I'm like, okay, like, do I smear it on first and then tap it in? Or like, how does that fucking work? You know, like directions are always like so fucked and like they're never like too like straightforward, you know? They should be like, if I ever make my own makeup brand, I'm going to be like, look, bitch, slather that shit on and then tap it in your face. You feel me? And like, I'm going to write the instructions for shit like this. Like, um, you cannot use pot concealer before this. You cannot, you know what I mean? Like, and go through and fucking tell everybody all of the shit that you can and can't do. Like not just fucking leave it with vaguely like okay I feel like all that this did was make my face not that shiny and it's still shiny over here here let's slather this on and see if it helps I thought my phone was going to fall. <laughs> so, oh, there it goes. I knew it was getting ready to. Okay. I'm so upset at myself for this shit. <laughs> Let's just pray that somebody buys it real quick. Yeah, this is not cool. Okay, well, whatever. So, it made no difference at all. It didn't even, like, take my shininess down. Like, do you see this? Like, I still have shininess and shit. Like, okay. <laughs> Alright, well, I added some brows... I'm going to try to add a little bit of concealer on top. Let's see if it, let's see if it works on top. It doesn't work underneath. Oh yeah. Okay. It's like acting as a primer because that's what it is. It's a fancy schmancy primer. That really isn't all that great of a primer either. So yeah. Oops, I didn't mean to hit that. Please don't fall. Like, it looks okay. I guess. For like a little white shiz. But it's definitely just a primer. And it's definitely not worth the $40. And I definitely have way, like, a bunch of other stuff that I like a whole lot more. Like, tinted moisturizers and my foundation drops by the creme shop. Like, there's so much stuff that I like more. Well, let me get... Like, it's just not working for me. I, I need more, I need more coverage. So this is my Neutrogena Hydro Boost Concealer. Let's just slather some of this ish on so I can get some coverage. I might as well just put on a fucking foundation at the rate we're going. We'll just slather some of that on. Like... Some days, though, do you guys ever wear concealer for foundation sometimes? Like, like as of right now, too. Like, as in right now. Like, 
if I was like getting ready to go somewhere and I just needed to like run out of the house, like sometimes I'll start putting concealer on and I'll put it on like under my eyes and then do like I just did and like start and I'm like, oh, I need some here. I need some here. And then before you know it, your whole fucking face is covered. Yeah, I do that sometimes. Clearly. But it's like, I have like a, a red almost to my face. It's so weird. I don't know. I guess it's just in the phone. I just feel like I'm like not covered. I don't know. It's just so weird. I didn't really carve my brows out either. I think it's the the color of this brow pencil too. It's like really warm. It like pulls a little red almost. Like it almost looks auburn to me. Like in the in the the mirror. It's weird. I knew that like it was going to be a real light makeup day. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be like this though. All right. So I'm going to take my, this is my favorite, um, cream bronzer brush from e.l.f. And I'm going to take my Tarte Breezy Cream and use this. I'm going to bronzer with this. This is like my favorite bronzering. See, it looks so dark in the camera i was gonna say the monitor like i <laughs> like i legit have a fucking camera and shit like it looks so dark over here but like in real time over here it's not at all like you can't even see it it's so weird i'm just gonna do a little bit because i don't i already knew it was gonna be like a light makeup day I'll probably end up taking this off like when I get back and putting <laughs> putting something different on. Okay. See, see, look at how dark that is, and then it's like not at all. It's so weird. Okay. Let's we don't have to say that again. I feel like I said it 45 times now. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my favorite it brush, my um it for Ulta, my pride one. And I'm going to take my Sugar Rush, my uh, Beaches and Cream Beach Cheeks. I love this shit. It's so pigmented and just so pretty. Like, that's what I like on days, like, on no makeup makeup days like this. I just like having a bunch of blush on and, like, my eyebrows done. Like, that's what I'm going for, you know? Those are like the things that I want to pop out in my mascara, like, and that's it. All right, now we got this other new shiz, the No Pigment Glass Highlighter for Face and Lip. It says, a, a multi-use gloss for face and lips that gives skin a wet, glass-like effect. Use the doe foot applicator to highlight the high points of the face. Can also be applied to the lips. So, this is basically lip oil that you want me to put all over my face. That's what you're telling me. I wonder if I should use, just use my finger. Oh yeah, this is cool. like, look at how sticky that is. Like, if I had my hair down, my hair would get stuck in that. And it's no more, like, this is my normal skin. And this is where I put the highlighter. Like, do you see that? Like, my natural glow is, <laughs> is overriding this, like. And it's probably... Yeah, it's lifting what I put up underneath it. Like, it's lifting all that off right there. Do you see that? Where all the color's gone now from my blush and stuff? I'm so mad at myself for getting this. I 
I guess this is okay for lip oil. But. Oh, it's actually kind of nice. I like it. Like as a lip oil. I'll put a little bit of color on my lips. This is my uh, ColourPop Lippy Stick and Cookie. Shit, I might have to put more blush on now because it fucking ate it over here, you know? I like my brush. Do you guys ever do that? Do you lose your brushes? Like, I do it all the fucking time. I'm like, I just, like, what the fuck? I just had it. Like, oh, there it is. Okay. Let's put some more dish on here since that fucking Vaseline in the tube took it off. Okay, and now I just want to put some Todd Lights cash lights camera lashes on because I like having um nice uh mascara. Like I like having lashes when I have like a no makeup makeup look. I w I like to make sure that I have a lot of mascara on. Just like personal preference, you know. There's people. I wonder if you guys are going to be able to hear that when you listen to this back. There's people. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> I knew this thing was going to fall over today because it's like not in the perfect position. So I keep having to have held it. Um, there's people outside playing tennis on the tennis court. The tennis court's right outside of our, um, outside of our balcony. And there's, like, a bunch of people down there playing. Alright, well, here's this shit show. Today's just been a shit show altogether. It has, like, legit. Let me pull you in. Hold on. All right, y'all, here it is. Here's the finished look. Like, you can kind of see where I put that, but it's like, it's like my natural glow. So, it's like my no makeup makeup look. I don't really like it. I'm going to end up taking it off and put more makeup on, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like and hopefully somebody buys this really soon. Um <laughs> So what do you guys think? Are you going to pick it up? Do you guys like it? Do you not? Do you guys like more full makeup or less coverage, no makeup makeup looks or do you like the whole kit and caboodle what do you like let me know sound off down below don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way out hit that like button and let me know what what kind of makeup y'all like let me know if you're gonna get this leave some comments down below and if you can smile make somebody else y'all there's too much hate going on in the world just love each other i mean for real it's it's really not hard. Love you. See you in the next one. Hey everybody, it's Ashley. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. How y'all doing today? Well, I have something very, very interesting for you today. You guys have been asking for it, so I got it. It is the Becca No Pigment Foundation and the No Color Highlighting Gloss. So I feel like it's going to suck, but I don't want to say that because I don't want to eh, manifest anything bad, but you know, I've heard really bad things about it and I kind of felt it already and all right, well, let's just get straight into it guys. Um, I just want to tell you, thank you. I love you guys and go ahead and hit that subscribe button while you're over here and you know, you might as well hit the like button, too, you know? I mean... All right, let's get into the video, y'all. 